Oke, okay, we are going to solve practice problem 7.8 from Sadiku book. And the question is, if given this function, ht, and it's defined as this piecewise function, and we are asked to express ht in terms of singularity function. So let's see here, we have constant, constant, and then a line, and then a constant. So we will need two singularity function. The first one is ut. And the second one is the rem function, RT. Okay, so now the I will need to remind you that the sketch of UT is like this. So let's draw a simple Cartesian coordinate here. So UT will be zero when T is less than zero, but it will be one when T is greater than zero. So this is UT. And then we will have RT. RT is a line that is defined like this. So when T is equal to zero, it will be zero. And when T is greater than zero, it will be a line with a gradient of one. So this is RT. And that will equal to t multiplied by ut. Okay, so we will need to express all of this in this function. But first, I want to sketch this function so we can easily visualize the problem. Okay, now let's draw the circuit. So when t is less than zero, the value will be zero. So I did not draw this. And then when t is between zero and two, the value of its t will be minus 4. So I will write it here. So from 0 until 2. Okay. And this is 2. So this is 2. And then the value of its t when it is between 2 and 6 will be this line. So let's plug 2 into this line. So I will have 6 minus 8. 6 minus 8 is minus 2, right? So I will have it here. And that will be minus 2 here. And then we plug 6 into these equations. So 3 multiplied by 6 is 18. 18 minus 8 is 10. 10 is, where is it? 10 is... This is 2, this is 4, then this is 8, and this is 10. Okay, this is 10, and this is 8. Okay. Now when it is 6, so this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6, and the value will be 10. And so we can just connect this line. Okay, I have this line here and then I just need to connect this and now we have 0 when t is equal to when t is larger than 6 so I have 2 here okay so I will fix this so I have good sketch and this will be 0 here So I will have a line that looks like this. Okay, now from this sketch, we can just draw, not draw, we can just imagine the HT. Okay, now first I will have HT here. HT. And this line will be minus 4 multiplied by UT, right? Okay, minus 4 multiplied by ut. But at time t is equal to 2, here we will need to change the magnitude from minus 4 to minus 2, right? So I will need to add another ut to it, but with the offset of 2. Okay. 
And then from here, if we only have this UT, it will be, it will goes there. It will goes there. Here, if we only have UT. So we need to change the gradient. So we need to add a RAM function here at t is equal to 2. So we want to change the gradient from 0 to 3. This is the gradient is 3, right? So I will need to add a RAM function here, which is plus, and the gradient change from 0 to 3, so I will need to add 3, and we have RAM function, RAM function at t minus 2. Okay, so now let's move on into another time, which is 6, okay. Now, the gradient is changed from 3 into 0. So, I will need to subtract this, which is 3 minus R, because 3 minus 3 is 0, right? So, I will have R, 3 minus T minus 6, okay? But, if we only do this, it will be goes there at the 10 magnitude but we want this to be 0 so we need to subtract 10 ut from it so i will need to subtract it so i will have minus 10 a unit step function at the time offset of 6 okay so we will have this function to express this piecewise function as singularity functions okay so hopefully i did not make any mistakes in my calculation thank you for watching do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye